Previously on Cat Clips. After Chuck began working on his political platform and Tippy saw a mysterious stranger in the backyard, the cats all got together for the first meeting of the Cupid Committee. Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Cat Clips! Come on, Trey, it's time to show Tuck the commercials we've been working on. Okay, you've added all the music and special effects. Yes, don't worry. Okay, here's the thing I don't understand. I know you said I should run for president of the internet, but it doesn't appear as if I have any real opponents at the moment. Are you sure this is your real position? About as real as anything else in our storyline. Well, if it isn't real, it ought to be. And since you're the only one in the race so far, you're bound to win. And you know what that means. I'd be more self-aggrandizing than Donald Trump? No, you'd have a big inaugural ball. I don't think that's possible. I've been neutered, you know. Oh, no, no, not that. Uh, no, Tuck, an inaugural ball is a party. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's just watch the first commercial, shall we? Okay, wow me. Are you tired of the current crop of candidates running for office? Oh, uh, yeah! Do you want to be free from hypocrisy, oh. negativity, hey. and anything associated with the Internet's definition of <laughs> If you're sick of the same white middle-aged fat cats and their ongoing diatribes of elitist rhetoric, then turn to the candidate whose positive and optimistic outlook is taking the World Wide Web in a new direction. Vote Tuck the Bengal for President of the Internet. Finally, uh, a candidate whose outlook is spot on. Paid for by the Tabby's for Tuck Residential Campaign Committee. My name is Tuck, and I approve this message. Well, that certainly was interesting, but it didn't really say much about my, um, political platform. You know, the thing you made me do all that homework on? All in good time, Tuck. All in good time. Oh, and speaking of time, I better get upstairs to the ladies. We're having our first meeting about the bridal shower. Good luck with that. Because if I know Honey and Tippy, they'll probably want the bridal shower to be in Las Vegas. Or Frisky Land. Or is it Frisky World? I'll be back as soon as the meeting is over. Hopefully it won't take that long. <laughs> I feel just like the butler in Downton Abbey. Divide my time between the regular blokes downstairs and the snotty aristocracy upstairs. Guess that's what I get for volunteering to be the consultative liaison. Hey, ladies! I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Uh, Mr. Boots, you would do very well to modify your vocal tone to a much more pleasing range. You are not a street vendor. Gentlemen can be so prash, forever unaware of a woman's quieter sensibilities. So true, my dear. Now be a good fellow and fetch us some tea and crumpets, will you? Am I in some kind of fringe alternate universe? Since when did you two start speaking with English accents? Since we've decided to theme the bridal shower after an English high tea. Yes. Being British is very popular these days, what with the success of Downton Abbey and the resurgence of Absolutely Fabulous. So we thought we'd pay tribute to Tuck's heritage and throw a proper English extravaganza. Let me guess. Honey is going to be the Dowager Countess and you are Lady Mary. Goodness, child, what is the bootler talking about? And why isn't the tea here yet? I believe I asked for it several moments ago. Oh, Countess Honey, you are such a caution. <laughs> Just call me the Iron Lady. <laughs> well, it seems like everything's settled, so I guess I'll be on my way. Don't forget the crumpets! That ghost has finally flipped her lid. As if I didn't already have enough on my plate, she expects me to drop everything and make a freaking crumpet? What am I, her personal pastry chef? When it's so obvious I run this entire household. Okay, gentle meows, I'm back. Ready to see the next commercial? Well, isn't this just great? Upstairs, I have to contend with Dame Edna and Lady Bracknell, and downstairs, I'm company to Rip Van Winkle and the Borax. Cat 
Check out the 2012 collection of Cat Clips mugs, t-shirts, mouse pads, CDs, and more at wizardofwit.com.